The power of architecture is that it is our cultural landscape. These are the homes that families live in, the neighborhoods that people grow up in, and traditional buildings, both residential, civic, and religious, are what tell our collective story. And to restore these buildings is ultimately about providing a continuation of that human story. We start with an, uh, an opening in a wall or a blank roof and we build it all. The only way to do that is to recreate the building methods that they use, which is to start from raw materials. We are able to adapt ourselves to what's going on with the building and we have the skill set to work with what's going on. We want it done right, we want it done well. From large institutional buildings to religious buildings, and even on small repairs for, for individual homes. We've worked in the historic districts of Heritage Hill, Wealthy Street Historic District, as well as uh, the many unique, beautiful neighborhoods in East Grand Rapids. Dan and Grand River Builders will come in and take their cues of what is the design of this neighborhood? What is the design of this building? How do we complement that? How do we account for what changes have been made to the building? What uh, what sort of material the building is made of. We look at a building as a, a collection of, of all these different traditional building trades, which we then consolidate and then offer under all one roof. These guys learn from Dan. They're not afraid to work when it's really, really hot. They're not afraid to work when it's really, really cold. And they like doing things right. He actually takes the picture in his mind and it comes out on paper. And we, you know, these things are literally pinned down to the, to the work boards and we reference them, right? Like everything is to scale. You feel like a young apprentice all the time when you're around. He'll be doing something and it'll be just dust and all sorts of craziness going on and then he walks away and then there's just this really amazing something that he built that nobody else could build and you just want to know how he did it. So you get excited about it, you want to learn about it, and there's just that infectious feel around here where nobody's ego is so big that we can't learn something from each other. I don't hire skills, I hire people and teach them the skills I need them to know. I have the best crew there is, I, you know. If I don't see somebody for two weeks straight, you know, I know that they're getting it done. The goal all the time is to make it work, is to make whatever project we're on work, as opposed to make money. That is what motivates the people, that's what motivates the employees. The guys that we have in our crew have a very good understanding of the materials themselves and applying it to our Michigan climate. There's different aspects that you have to think about the atmosphere, the cold, the heat, and if you don't have skilled craftsmen who can make a decision on the spot, the, the work is gonna suffer. To, to work on older buildings is really to be a part of the living tradition. And uh, architecture is the backdrop of our lives and our stories, not just us individually here and now, but it's the story of where we've come and ultimately where we'll continue to go.